everybody welcome back to another episode of medieval dynasty and it looks like it's a rainy day uh now in between last episode and this episode i went ahead and crafted a few knives and axes uh and a hammer i think i did i craft a yes i did I crafted another wooden hammer um i did that so that we could go on to building uh you know other good stuff today um but i also i leveled up a little bit so if i go into technology and i scroll down here uh not that one this one so under production technology we unlocked the sewing hut last time which we're going to build that today we unlocked workshop two so i'm thinking workshop one will probably get demolished and we'll rebuild it into workshop two uh but most importantly today let's see i have one more production point to do we'll do another into crafting expert and that way it's even faster um so what i was thinking we would do today is continue with the plan that we had last time we're going to build one sewing hut we're going to build one herbalist hut then we're going to put the woman who's doing the water in the herbalist hut because that should make her happy and we will need somebody to tote water around but i suppose i can just take on that right now um so herbalist hut and sewing hut and then two more houses a resource storage to this one and a mm, what else oh and we were going to upgrade the um workshop so let's get right to it i'm sorry that the rain is so ungodly loud let me check the sound and see uh no i, I don't want to turn down all of it let's turn down environment to 25 percent accept the changes Ah, eh, that's a little better okay we'll uh we'll do that we're gonna break down the workshop here so i'll get to show you how to do that and then we'll take care of building everything else i figure if the workshop is there a workshop three let me double check that really quick uh production there is a workshop three so we'll build the sewing hut hmm where should we build the sewing hut we could build it like right here or should it be off of the path and like over here right behind this storage or should we build the other storage right here hmm it's a big toss-up well let's let's take a look at the storage first so storage resource storage number two holy crap that seems much bigger than the other one uh yeah we'll put this right here and i know that took some of the berries away but we have a whole nother berry patch uh, i thought we had one over there maybe it's on the other side but anyway so this will be um the new storage level two or whatever oh wait I should be able to build so once we get the resource storage number two we're probably going to want to upgrade the number one or maybe we'll wait until we get to a level three and then we'll go after the uh number one yeah we'll probably do that that way it should be fine so let's go over here get us some log can i carry all 33 of course i can't carry all 33 but I can drop half of them. There we go. Was a little less than half, but whatever. There we go. Build that. Uh, now that we've got that foundation down, let's worry about a walkway. 
because my ADHD wants me to worry about the walkway. So we're going to worry about the walkway right now. I'm going to grab this, bring it right out to here. And then we're going to go from here right to there. So there. The walkway goes right around it up into level two. So we basically have two warehouses right in the middle of town. Uh, the workshop, I'm going to leave this space more or less available. We're going to break down the workshop and we're actually going to move it so it's facing us this way. And then we're going to put the sewing hut like right here. So there's plenty of room for both to expand. So we don't actually have to break down that one first because we're going to go to buildings. We're going to go to production workshop number two. Uh, move forward until. Yeah, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. So we're going to move that to or should we? I wish you could back it up just a little bit. It's kind of hard to see. So let's do I have a wooden shovel? I don't. Can I craft one? I can. So we're going to take the wooden shovel. We're going to break down these um, these stumps really quick. That's four. Yep, goes right there. Going to break down these stumps and see if we can fit the workshop sort of on this same road here. Sort of. Not really, but... Okay, so we have that. We're going to go here, production, workshop, level two. Going to try and more or less line it up like that. Yeah? No? Mm, that's pretty much what I had in mind, because then I was going to run this path right up to here. So we'll just do that. So let's put down the foundation for workshop number two. Boom, workshop number two. Okay, uh, then we can break down this workshop, but we'll wait to do that until we have workshop level two up and running. Uh, now, what else did we need? We needed the herbalist hut, and we should probably do that sooner rather than later, herbalist hut. So, it's tiny. Like, really tiny. I would love... Oh, oh my gosh, you can do it! Scroll wheel moves it away from you. I am so mad and happy at the same time. Uh, where should I put the herbalist hut? Should she kind of be up here by the by the farm or sort of over here in this grove of trees? Or should we? Let's see. This is mostly potions. So... It doesn't have to be too close, I guess. Hmm. Such a toss up. But the herbalist might be where we want to do a lot of. I'm going to put the herbalist right across from the food storage. So here's our kitchen. I'm going to remove that stump and put the herbalist right up on it. I like this idea. Because then I feel like the herbalist could be there because maybe these two use the same resources. Uh, it's probably a really dumb idea, but we'll put this. Oh, wait, we have this little walk path. We'll put it right there. Awesome. OK, now let's see what we need. We need six stones. I think I have a few left over. I know that my excavator guy has been going to town on the stones. So let's stone. Perfect. 195 stone. I'm going to grab 17 of it. Whee! Okay. So there's the herbalist hut. And now we need to place two more houses. Now... Should we do a nice big house, but make it out of logs instead? Or should we do more of the medium houses? The big houses are supposed to make people happier. But uh, I honestly don't know if they do. Maybe big house or medium house. Well, 
Well, why don't we Why don't we remove some of these stumps? Because they are now in the way of what plans I have. So let's look. If we were to build the biggest house right here, uh, it would more or less have to sit something like that. Terrain is too uneven to place. Okay, so it doesn't want to go there. It does. What the hell are you doing? Um. Let's put one right behind my house. Or should we put one right here? Gee, I am so indecisive and I am so sorry, guys. Uh, what building is this again? That's a house, yeah. So that's a little house. Hmm. Oh. There we go. Uh, okay, we'll put a house facing this way. A full size, or same size as the largest house. We'll put the largest house facing this way. So go to buildings, this house, move like this so you're away from the road, then move to the road. There we go. And then that way, and cool. So we'll have a house here. And then can we fit a house of some kind? on this side so we can but that's in the way let's remove it okay i'm actually going to build no it's easier to build a bigger house with crappy materials and upgrade it later than it is to build a smaller house with better materials and upgrade it later um so sorry you guys have to go through this thought process with me. So here is another big house. But I want to leave plenty of room for a big house. Because I want to eventually replace this little house with a big house. I know, I'm poetic sometimes. So that should be there. Then doing a house... I'll make it work. I'll make it work however it goes. We're going to do a house right across from this one. So like that. Perfect. And that'll give us two, four more people. Four more uh, house slots, I guess. Then we can just focus on amassing a serious amount of people. Anyway, I will take care of gathering the materials for these buildings and be back with you in just a few minutes. All right, still dismal, still raining. Uh, we've gotten the framework for the storage and the workshop, the herbalist hut, the two houses, two full-size houses, and... Well, I don't know what you did man but you're in trouble you better apologize um so let's build the herbalist hut really quick and get the super bored woman uh done with that i put the sticks and the straw here so we should be able to get this done All right, so there is the herbalist hut. And let's see, what's in here? We got the herbalist table. This looks like where we can build or brew potions once we have the uh, the recipes for them. Cool. And uh, poisons, which I, I don't know. We can figure it out. Potion of camouflage. Potion of possibilities. 
potion of poison, potion of night vision, and then enhancement potions, satiety, saturation, weight, temperance, strength, health. Okay. Wait, what's that one? Uh, doesn't tell me. Okay, cool. Uh, I need to, uh, eat some food really quick, which is in here, I guess. Okay, that's gonna say everybody is starving to death in just a moment. But if I go into my house and I cook all of this stuff... Oh, wait, I can cook it on the... in the kitchen. I'm an idiot. Uh, this is the kitchen right here. Grab that. Roast all of that. Mmm. Perfect. Wonderful roasted meat. Do that. Then we're going to go down here, get a drink, have a shower, which I find it really ridiculous that you don't get cleaned by the rain. But, uh, whatever. And I don't know how long I'm going to have this wash tub full of, you know, uh, dirty water or whatnot. Anyway, let's put the food back before everybody else gets pissy. And so they've only done a little bit of water. That's, that's good to know. Put that back. Uh, one last thing I wanted to do while it was still today was in the forge. Go here. And craft the two iron bars or an uh, an iron bar whoops well that was quick i wish it worked like that i've done forge work in my time and yeah doing no mm -mm. we'll put that iron bar in there it's worth quite a bit but i think we're going to want to turn it into a uh tool or weapon instead of selling it so let us go in here we're going to go to sleep and i'll see you in the morning ah okay there's a still a pile of stone on the floor let us figure out what's next so i think i could be wrong i need a log and 10 sticks I need to grab another hammer. But this hammer will allow us to figure it out. 7, 14, 21, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 um, planks, or 32 logs for this, and 24 planks, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 55, 60, 65, 66, 7, 8, 9, so we need like 70, excuse me, 70 or so logs, probably closer to 80 for this, including uh, 48 planks. So we're probably going to build the workshop first, then we'll break down this one for whatever materials are in it and use and uh, go over there and do that. These are going to take a ridiculous amount more. So... 12, 24, 36, 48, then 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So these will take 54 logs each, whereas the, um, that thing's going to take like 80. Uh, we're just going to build this in whatever order I can get the materials to them. So I will gather the materials and then will build uh, together. Actually, I'm a little bit of an idiot. Uh, didn't occur to me how absolutely long that's going to take. So eh, we're just going to oops, do I need some sticks. We're just going to do this together on camera, more or less. I will probably speed it up when I stop talking, but the longer I gab, the less I'm going to speed... Where the frick did it go? The less I'm going to speed it up. Okay. Grab that. I, seriously, I need one more stick. Ooh. 
Oof. Turn my sensitivity up on my mouse a little bit. It was starting to annoy me. Let's grab that. We'll craft one more hammer. Because we're going to end up needing it. All right. Going to go pick up a few more planks. Fortunately, with all the time I've let... Uh, Screwy Dewey and Louie or whatever the hell the guy's name is who does the woodworking. Um, here we go. Uh, he's actually been quite productive in getting me the planks that I wanted, so can't fault him too much. Okay, seriously? Okay, perfect. So there's that. Now I will attempt the storage roof. So it looks like I, I was originally confused when we were crafting or create uh, when we were making the original like storage and stuff, because I had seen that we could change the material types on like houses. But it looks like in order to do the upgraded. um, What do you call it? The upgraded materials like stone and wood slats and stuff you have to unlock the next tier of of um like crafting facility so like um i think you guys understand what i'm trying to say even though i'm doing an absolutely horrible job of it you have to get the next tier of building in order to get the next tier of material for a specific kind of uh project yeah i think that was english i'm not sure grab that and that perfect i think i have a few slats left but i think i only needed logs for the top of this yep just need logs for the rest of that so let's go put some slats on one of those houses All right, so I'll give you a little trivia now. Uh, sorry, didn't mean to kick my desk. Back in medieval times, there was a saying that cropped up. Some of you may have heard it before. The saying is, it's raining cats and dogs. Now, uh, anybody who knows what that means, pause the video. I'll give you a few seconds to pause the video and tell me where that saying comes from. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, I hope you pause the video and put down in the comments your explanation slash guess slash whatever the hell you want to call it of where that saying comes from, raining cats and dogs. So back when roofs were thatched, so, uh, which means that they were mostly straw that was overlapping. Uh, they would. The, the warmest place to sleep would have been up right underneath that roof. However, that meant that you had to precariously perch yourself on the rafters usually. And the rafters would get wet when it rained. But only when it rained hard enough to get through the roof. So when it rained hard enough to get through the roof, the rafters would get wet and the cats and dogs that were sleeping up there would fall. And so raining cats and dogs became the saying that everybody used to describe, holy crap, that's a lot of water. Because only when there was a lot of water did it rain cats and dogs, quite literally, in your house. Cute little story um not quite sure the validity of it i've never researched it myself but so i've heard <laughs> um so also trying to think 
Ah, yes. Another saying that came from the medieval, medieval was sleep tight. Now, sleep tight, don't let the bugs, bed bugs bite. That happened much later, that, that part of the saying. But sleep tight was a, uh, much like it is today, it was a well wish for good sleep. Back when beds used to be, uh, you know, mostly straw and they didn't really have mattresses or firm bed frames and things like that, they used to sleep uh, on basically nets. They had straw or maybe feathers, sometimes maybe an animal skin, but they slept on these slats, right? Well, those slats would... Or not these sl uh, slats, the, they were ropes. These ropes would occasionally get loose and then part of your bed would fall to the ground. So, in order to sleep well, you had to sleep and tighten your, uh, your netting before you went to bed so your bed wouldn't fall apart. So sleep tight was sort of a reminder to do your due diligence and get good rest kind of thing. So, uh, funny little story as well. Let's see. I need some stones. That's right. I don't have any stones. Do that. Do with that as you will. Okay, gonna check. I need some more sticks. Gonna craft me an axe. We're gonna get us the logs that we need for this. Now, if I did the math right a few minutes ago, we only need about a bajillion uh, logs. Because... Yeah, we'll need logs for the roofs, logs for the other buildings, logs for all that. So yeah, it's like 50 something logs per house, 80 something for the storage. And I think I only need 21 more for the um, workshop. So we'll finish the workshop first, then we'll break down the other workshop and cannibalize what parts come from it and go from there. So it's been a minute and a half, I guess, since my last episode, and I don't remember if I honestly asked you guys a question last time, but I do have a question for you this time. I know, shocker there. Um, my question is, well, uh, my first question is, do you like the workshop? I like it. Look, it's got a pottery wheel. Ooh, so we could make play jugs and stuff and sell them i think hmm makes clay a little more valuable um sorry i didn't mean to get sidetracked again the uh the question i had for you was <sighs> crap i'll think of it in a second oh uh yeah so uh, the timing of the series. This series was meant to sort of uh, be my second series. Uh, and I wanted to do start to finish, but I'm realizing uh, as we're going on that we haven't even made it out of the first year or so yet. Hell, we're still in summer of the first year. Um, so it might be that uh, <laughs> that. I turn this into a more long term series where we don't do episodes every week, but we could do something else. It's a thought 
that maybe I start another series while I'm doing this one. And this one's just really sporadic, like every two or three weeks, we'll do an episode of this. If you guys aren't enjoying this one, if you want to see more of this one specifically and you want me to hold off on another series, let me know in the comments below. I'm actually recording this episode and the episode following this one back to back because I have a little extra time this weekend. So um, I won't immediately respond to comments on both videos, but I will respond to you uh, once I've had a chance to look at it. I mean, I'm going out of town uh, for a few days next week, so um, that's why I'm not immediately available. Um, so like I said, let me know in the comments below if you want this to continue as a weekly, as a, you know, two times a week series, or if you'd like me to maybe look at something else for a full-time series and have this just be kind of the um on the side my side chick if you will um wow that i that's just a weird feeling in your mouth you say something absolutely douchey and there's this weird like hot sensation in your mouth i don't even know why i said it like that Sorry, but uh, anyway, I'll go back to the speed up. Why did I pick up sticks again? Jeez, I'm so. Nope. Oh, wait, that's right. I have some stones in my uh, my house, actually. And go grab those. Let's finish the houses, I think. Yeah, we're going to finish the houses. So we need more planks. OK, an absolute shit ton of planks, wood and logs. So. The. Um, the thought that I just had as I stepped down off of the house was the forest of Fangorn lies on our doorstep. Uh, anybody get that reference? Please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm just some weirdo that quotes movies that nobody gets. Gonna go get a drink really quick. And then uh, bathe, sleep until tomorrow. And it occurs to me I should probably talk a little more during these series. Um, I don't. I don't know exactly. Um, exactly what you guys like or not so i uh i do apologize for sometimes being really quiet and more about gameplay than anything else and sometimes i'm all super chatty and i just still trying to find my pacing you know get rid of that why do i why do i arbitrarily always pick up a beer bottle Am I just drinking all the time? 
All right. Uh, I'm going to. I won't sleep until tomorrow yet. Let me go up here to the wood shack, cut down as many trees as I can carry. Do I still have some planks up here? I remember having some planks on the ground. No, but there's a log. Um, do I have enough to craft another axe? I do. I just need a little stone. That's right. There's a stone right here. Ooh, that's 11 stone. So craft that. And I'll go in here and drop the stone. Pick up. Yes, we're good there. We chop down this one. I'm going to craft up as many planks as I can carry and go put them on the roof of that house. And as soon as we've got that house done, then we're going to go down to Hornica and... Jurezica or whatever it is and try and find just a few more people because I think the way we ended up doing it last time we ended up um, management we have three men four women five women and uh, that's not including me so we should always have one extra woman once I persuade Dragomira to you know marry me um, in the houses, we have my house with one person. We're going to have these two houses or this house built. Then we have a house with just a woman and a house with just another woman. So we need two men. And then we can hold two more. So... This is definitely more of an ASMR game. Get the super cathartic crickets in the background. Okay, there we go. That was max. So let's craft these up. Man, that moon is bright. Wonder since there's potions, I wonder if there's like mythical creatures. I know that's probably a really weird wonder, but. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to go pound these into place really quick. Then I'm going to sleep through the night. Then we'll finish the house and go down to Hornica and Jezerica. Jezerica. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Finally awake. Let's see what we need. I think. Oh, whoops. Uh, we need nine more logs turned into planks. Then, hold on. Let's, let me show you how this works. I need one more log. Let's see if we have a log in storage. Log, 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 log. There we go. I have seven logs in storage. So let's craft another hammer really quick just to to take care of that because we're about to break this hammer. But so this is our workshop. Let's open the chest. Let's grab all the wicker baskets, which I completely forgot to take with us last time, but we'll take them this time. We right click, we go to destroy, and then you have to destroy the individual pieces. So destroy. Why are those blue? Oh, it's the, it's the, got it. Get rid of that, get rid of that. And just like that, it's gone. And that gave us a couple of sticks, but not much. Uh, there is a perk that we can take under the crafting tree. I think it's the... No, extractor. Master of Destruction. You get half of your resources back, so maybe we didn't get anything back. Ooh, we're definitely taking this one next. We're not too far from another level, so 
we'll do that. And then we're going to run up here. We need to snag three more logs. So one spruce tree should do it. And then we should be able to make enough to finish the one house. That way we have more than enough room for some more workers. Or peasants or whatever you want to call them. Ah. Okay. Grab that and that and that. And that should be nine logs. Yep. Then I'll turn those into planks. We'll go pound those into place. Then we're going to go to Hornica and Jezera, 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 whatever it's called, Jezerica, to uh, see if there's anybody else we'd like to induct into our little society. All right, 18 planks. Boom. The house is done and i can wave to my neighbor cool so we managed to get that done now one thing i did want to do go here e manage escape this my house whoops wasn't supposed to be yelled my house perfect so my house is labeled the simple house uh, i don't even know but it doesn't really matter when i hover over it to oh it does so when I hover over it and press my focus button, it shows what I call each domicile. That is nice. Um, let's see where they're simple. Is this the simple house? Manage. OK, and these are the hunters. So this would be the. Hunters. Cabin. Then the forester's house, the farmer prima, farmer secunda. The new house we're going to leave as is. And this house has our herbalist. Oh, that's right. We need to reassign her to herbalism. Bernadetta. She is going to be a survival herbalist hut. Uh survival is the key thing so she's gonna start loving her life because her job is so much better and does it tell us why a particular person is unhappy no it doesn't okay so there we go now uh let me empty my inventory except for the uh baskets and we need to make sure that copper ore, lots of feathers, keep the roasted meat that I have, put those away. How many sticks do I have? Do I have more sticks? If I have more sticks, I'm going to craft more baskets. Ooh, that's right. I have a lot of sticks. So let's grab 300. I think I can still walk with that. Okay, let's craft some baskets and... Uh, We'll have those to trade. Um, because then we can make enough. 63 baskets. Good night. I wonder if the baskets are heavier than the normal stuff. They are not heavier. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to leave behind 38. Maybe only 28. What? Oh, we left behind 70. I'm an idiot. Going to leave behind 20. We're going to leave behind three more. Oh my goodness, that worked. Okay. And then we're going to go in here and just make sure that we've put everything away because my scattered brain can't keep up with itself. Sticks can go away. Don't need two stone axes, but that one's about to break, so we'll keep that. We definitely don't need to take the hammers with us. We'll keep the shovel and the spear. And is there a log? Is there a log? There are three logs. We're going to grab two of them. 
turn those into spears because one of our spears is about to break. Now, we're going to head up to Hornica. Uh, we've never been up this way before, so I will... Uh, I'll record the whole thing. I'm going to speed it up, and I'll see you there. Oh, crap. Um... There's a bear. There's a big bear. There's two bears. Um, I don't know if I can kill one of them. I don't know what they take. I think there's a reason I'm supposed to have a bow and arrow so I can hit them from really far away. But, uh, crap. Um, I don't think I can sneak past them. I might be able to take out one of them and then run. I'll go after the one that's got its back to me. No way that took it down. No way. Oh, it's going to eat me when I go over to it. I just know it. My spear even survived. Wait, what? Requires a knife. Okay, let's see if we can kill the other one then, I guess. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. I think it's safe to say, based on my own findings, headshots are a thing. Oh my gosh. Need some sticks. Need some sticks. Are you not a stick plant? You're not a stick plant. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's get a knife. Oh, I'm... Totally blind. I did not see the cave, so I just totally walked in on their house and whoops. Whoopsies. Um, but don't worry, I won't let any of you go to waste. wonder if I get like a bear paw or something I can hang on my belt. Mm, doesn't look like it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, wait, is this a mine? Please don't be another bear in here. What is that? Copper? Salt? This is a mine. Oh. Well, okay. Um. That's awesome. I wonder if I can come back. I wonder when the bears respawn. Uh, is this all ore? Tin ore, tin ore, tin ore, tin ore, copper ore. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I'm an idiot. Eh. Can't grab it all. Can't grab it all. So we're going to go here, inventory. We're going to drop the copper. We're going to drop the tin. We'll come back this way when we're not carrying all the baskets. I hope I remember. I probably won't, but I hope I do. Found another cart. This one's got a bunch. Oh, it's got a pickaxe. And okay. So what we're going to do on the way back is we're going to get as much ore as we can. And uh, yeah, and we're going to see where that gets us. Oh, I'm still encumbered. Gee, oh, it's the meat. I'm an idiot. It's the meat. Let's see. Can I cook? One. Okay, this, that, 
a few more. That, 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 that. Light it up. Craft. Got it. 50 meat. That would be why it's uh, kicking my butt. I'm carrying 50 slabs of a serving of meat. Which is, what, four ounces? I do not remember what that is in, like... Uh, I don't remember what that is in non-imperial. Why am I having it? Grams. Grams, ah. I don't remember how many grams it is. Sorry. Sometimes I do forget that, uh... I was unfortunately, fortunately and unfortunately, raised in the West. The Western world. Okay, I heard a wolf. I hear a wolf. I see a wolf. Oh, shit! What? Oh, I don't even feel bad about that. You scared the bejesus out of me. I'm taking every one of your hides. Whew. I don't even care if it weighs me down. I am selling your guts to whoever will buy them. No, oh, no, I want to skin the wool. Holy crap, that scared me. I think headshots are definitely a real thing. Okay, uh, what what uh, what am I missing? I'm missing some sticks, really. Sticks, nope. Sticks, not deadly nightshade. Sticks, not deadly nightshade. Knife. Holy crap! That really that they scared me. <laughs> Probably more than they should have. I didn't. I heard one of them, and I saw another one, so I was like, oh, there's only two. I was wrong. But, uh, hey, sometimes being wrong is fun. Uh, in this case, it was super annoying. Now, I'm going to have to limp all the way to Hornica, because I'm carrying all this crap, but I'm not putting any of it down because it's valuable, and I'm a loot goblin. Sue me. I'll see you guys at Hornica. I might speed this up faster than I do normal uh, segments. I will remind you that... Uh, if you are encumbered and you walk at this diagonal, you actually move about 20% faster or so. That's why I did this. All right, here we are in Hornica. Now I need to sell stuff first, and then I want to see if there's a tailor somewhere if there's a tailor here i want to try and buy that upgrade to the um what the hell are you looks like a wedding ring there is a seamstress okay um let's sell stuff to this one i guess how is life treating you My wares never disappoint. whoa what the hell are those a type of gift oh so this is the stuff we can give to our wife oh those are expensive jeez um let's sell all of my roasted meat all of my furs i don't have any leather but we're gonna sell all of that too and we're going to sell as many of these baskets as she'll buy which was all of them uh and I have 1,026. I'm not Goodbye. married yet. I can live cheaply. Um, okay, and this lady's the seamstress, so... Yes, show me your wares. Thank you. Uh, so, what was it, a large pouch? Was that the 
plus 10 kilograms. Let's see if they're pouch plus 6 kilograms. I think. And small pouch plus 3. So yeah, the large pouch should be the best. Simple large backpack is what I'm wearing. And a saddle bag would be for a horse. So yeah. Large pouch. Buy one of those. Uh, hello there. Hello. See you soon. Yeah, not likely. Now let's go into our inventory. Grab our large pouch. Equip that bad boy. Now we can carry 65 kilos. For those who don't know exactly what that is, a kilo is a little over two pounds, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so that's 130 pounds. That's quite a haul. Okay. So, ooh, she's a hunter and a farmer. And she is a crafter. Oh, you are mine. Hello there. That sounded way worse than I meant it to. She's a good huntress, but she, which means she would be good at fishing too. So, hold on. Technology, no, management. Uh, buildings. My house, the simple house has a woman in it. The simple small house has another woman in it. This simple house has. Now it has a woman in it. Dang. Now we're pretty much stuck to men for now. If I build another and I remember that Redomira is. Oh, wait. Hail, friend. Wait. She's closer to our age. Okay. So let's. Let's keep our options open. What's your favorite season? Definitely autumn. You seem interesting. I've always liked to learn new things. Do you have any advice for me? Uh, be careful who you trust. The best way to conceal a dagger is with a smile. Don't let me find you slacking off. You seem very interesting. Okay. Um, I think we might actually marry this Radomira instead. Have a good day. I don't know. We'll see how it goes down. Um, now, we need three men now we need one man for sabora one man for this uh farmer secunda so a farming man and then she's the herbalist so a survivalist guy to maybe go with her or maybe i'll put a crafter there because our newcomer, Sabora, she is going to work at the workshop as a craftsman. Cool. Now, one thing I did forget to do, we were overlooking all of our houses, or all of our buildings. The Extraction Shed Herbless, Herbless Hut. This is the one that we hadn't uh, told, told her to do anything with yet. So, um... And so she can't make any of these potions because I can't make any of these potions. So what do we do? Do we have her go after everything equally? Uh, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So sixteen, thirty, forty, five. So five percent on each of them. Should be good. And then we'll throw the overflow probably into mushrooms because I can learn that mushroom stew food recipe. So these are a fall only thing forged in the autumn. So let's drop these down. That's genius. Okay, so we'll drop these down. If I'm not mistaken, found during the summer. Uh, during the summer, during the summer, during the spring and summer, during the summer and autumn. 
during the spring and summer during the spring summer autumn whoops uh spring summer autumn and during the summer so we have nine of these at that so up each one to 10 percent and then we'll probably put the rest of them on broadleaf plantains because yeah that'll give us extra broadleaf plantains and then in the fall or in the fall we'll focus on just these mushrooms and maybe we'll have to have seasonal foods or something um well okay at least that kid doesn't look like he crapped his pants let's do a um side quest or two while we're here in town a newcomer hello there can I help you with something? I lost my bow, or maybe someone stole it. I'm not sure. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I need a new one. Could you please craft one for me? I can't really do that one. Uh, I don't have any um, any linen thread. So I like that they give you the option to turn them down, and it doesn't cost you a ton of reputation. It's it nice used to be pretty you. bad. Uh, can I help you with something? Listen, I need some crafting materials. Would you get them for me? Sure. Give me the list. It's never too much for that. Two logs. Oh my goodness, dude, you're breaking my back. What the hell? I do like that, you know, there's this tree right outside the back gate. I literally walked fitting distance from this man to pick up the materials that he's asking for. Lazy bastard. Lazy. Done. Done. Yeah, I just, I'll stop there. Lazy bastard. Are you serious? You have logs, you cow. I got all you need. Give me my damn coins. Um, okay. Domamir? Domamir, okay. What do you want? I welcome you, traveler. Well, thank you very much. Can I help you with something? I could use your help. I'm an elderly man who's unable to craft tools of his own. Could you please bring me an axe? I won't forget to reward you for that. I can do that. Just give him my what axe. What can I do for you? Four. Take care. New axe. Stone axe. Can I just seriously uh, give him this axe? I'm going to drop it. And I'm going to pick it up. No, it actually... Ugh. Freaking cow. Uh, can I... I just need, like, two sticks. <sighs> New axe. Doesn't like this one because I held it in my hand for too long. Here, old man. Take your damn axe. Thank you so much. I know a few crafting recipes from my old days. I'll show them to you. Oh, that's right. Uh, she was selling horse saddles, so I was going to ask. This guy looks like he sells. Oh, nope, that's not the way in. This guy looks like he sells horses. What's it take Greetings, to get a horse? Stranger. Show that's me your wares. All right, so that's just saddlebags and like. Crap. Um, horseshoes. What are those for? Reduce stamina consumption when galloping. Hmm. Cool. Um. See you soon. Fifty-two fifty. Holy crap! There's a little colt and a filly. Crap. Those are expensive, and I can't even ride those because they're too young. Oh my gosh! The Horses are more expensive. Okay. So that's not an option. So in order to take my mind off of that absolute Charlie Foxtrot, we're going to head due west to Jezerica. See if there are any eligible bachelors that want to move in with the woman of their dreams. I'm not going to forget you, honey. I'm going to be back for you. Don't you worry. Um... You know, just in case, what's her face, uh, Dragomira doesn't doesn't work out. We'll have multiple options open. 
I was reading somewhere while I was uh, learning about this game that your the NPCs have personalities, and so there are certain personalities or whatnot that react better to being romanced, and some are like super crude or uh, more interested in like the macabre, that kind of stuff. I don't know if it's true, but it's certainly interesting. Um, and it seems like the last girl actually took to us better, but I'm not sure. So, Jazerica, this way. Just no more wolves. I'm tired of ambushes by wolves. Dances with wolves? I'll dance with a wolf. I got no problem with that. The hell of a movie, too. All right, you're in my way. Down you go. Oh, and I broke that spear. I wonder if that's what it is. I wonder if your spear does more damage the higher its um its durability. Because it seems like when I spear the really big animals, that's when my spears break. But it almost always brings them down, so... Okay, finally, we got another level in hunting. I've been waiting for this one, so this gives us two skill points. We're going to put one in tracker, because it's awesome, and two in... Careful Hunter? Careful Hunter or Steady Hand. Steadier with ranged weapons. I think that would be much better. So now when you hold your uh, view ability, of course, there's not a single animal around here for me to show you this. Uh. <laughs> hey, there's a camp right here. Oh, there. See the rabbits glowing green? Yeah, that's right. All of our animals now glow with your inspector mode. So there's what is that a fox? That's a rabbit. And there's a wolf. Uh oh. I'm gonna grab that. I didn't realize I was out of spears, so we're going to cut down a tree while that wolf takes care of the poor Widow Bunny Rabbit. Oh, and then I was supposed to go to the mine. I still might. Okay, if you're going to stop, I'm going to take it. Uh-oh. Hurry, hurry, chop, 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 chop. Let's craft a few more of these, like, right now, because I just heard the rest. And I swear, if I attack one of them, and it turns out that there's some kind of, like, hack mechanic where they all attack their aggressor. Uh, well, first off, that'd be really cool. Second, that would suck. So, let's do that. See, is there anything? I don't see anything there. Oh, water skin. Don't turn down that. There's some hemb. Ooh, a bronze axe. A normal torch. A bucket. Holy crap. Uh, grab all of that, basically. Yeah, grab. All of that, too. We can sell it at the next uh, town if we don't end up wanting it. Any other arrows? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, there's the... Green little bunny rabbit. Okay. Uh, I am going to try and make it to Jazerica before I stop again. Do I have enough to craft a campfire? I don't. There's a nice little lake right here. I think, I think I'm going to sleep through the night. It's just, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> that run in with the wolves. I don't know. It made me clench for a second, and now I'm all, like, uncomfortable. Uh, let's put it right here. So I've got a little story for you. Light the fire. 
one time when I was with, I was out with friends. We were going shooting. I went with uh, a buddy and his girlfriend. We were going shooting uh, up in Idaho. We were. Oh, can I salt the meat? No, that's roasting the meat. Um. Anyway, so my buddy and his girlfriend, they wanted to go do guy girl things and whatnot. So they dropped me off to go shooting and they're like, all right, hike down to where we're going to go shooting uh, and we'll go. We'll, we'll be back in a minute. I was like, OK, whatever. And so I loaded up all of my uh, firearms and I I went. Uh, I, the whole reason I wanted to sleep. Jesus. Um, so I, I started hiking about halfway to where we were going. I heard some something rustling in the bushes and I was, you know, I wasn't really paying attention to what it was, but I was on alert that there was something there. So I loaded up my uh, rifle and my shotgun and my pistol. I uh, chambered around in each and I just kept going. I figured, you know, if it's something like a badger or rabbit or something, I'll just take a pot shot at it and probably not hit it. Just scare it. That kind of stuff. Um. About mm, 15 minutes later, I started to hear coyotes in the distance or coyotes, whatever, whatever you call them. Where I'm from, we call them coyotes, but I know most people call them coyotes, Native Americans, coyote, that kind of stuff. I realize that. Um, anyway, so the I start hearing coyotes in the distance. And they sound like they're getting closer. Now, I'd hunted coyote before, so I, I knew what I was expecting, more or less. There are wolves around here. No, there's just signs of wolves around here. So, I start to get just a little nervous, because I know coyotes aren't particularly dangerous, but they travel in large packs, and when animals are hungry, even little ones, they can be very... Um, aggressive. Ooh, an iron axe. Don't mind if I do. Um, planks? Well, hello. So I hunkered down. I, I it, was, it was towards the middle of, or I guess towards the end of the winter. There was still snow on the ground. So I hunkered down, held my shotgun close, and I realized as my eyes adjusted and the moon came out that I was surrounded by coyotes. And there was a lot of them. They were in the bushes. They were circling around. It was interesting to say the least. So I just held on to my shotgun and waited and waited and waited. And an hour and 45 minutes later, my buddy and his girlfriend came back to where I had more or less hiked my way out. And uh, I was pissed. I'm actually not friends with uh, with that buddy anymore his girlfriend yeah but not that guy um anyway little story for you story time so this guy is pretty much worthless but he does have farming this guy has crafting and this woman is just kind of well balanced all around but i can't fit another woman i don't think yeah i can't i need the guys that guy's a crafter and that guy's a farmer. Fine. How is life treating you? Um, join my settlement. Hello. Join my settlement. So, one more chime. There we go. Going to go in here. This one is the farmer, so we're going to assign him to Farmer Secunda. And then we're going to assign him to the barn as a farmer for now. Then Tamir, we are going to assign to... This guy's not a really great crafter. Do we want him married to the crafter or married to... You know what? I'm going to put him in with... Uh... I sure want to move this... Move the family to a new house? What do you mean, family? 
What do you mean family? He's a dude. There's only a girl in... Does he have a house? I'm an idiot, I think. Put that there. Simple, sm simple, 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 small house has Tamir and Bernadetta. Okay, jeez, I guess I was just, I don't know, high. Uh, we'll put him in the kitchen where a man should be. No, I'm just kidding. I was a cook for a little while, so I was on a competitive cooking team out of Northern Nevada for a little while, so I have a, a fond a fondness for uh, cooking. Not that it's really important. So Tamir, cook. Oh, it puts their, oh, puts their job over top of them. That's awesome. That's so much better. This game gets better and better with every update, I swear. Only the best products here. Yes, you sound super thrilled here. I'll just throw that. I'll keep the mead, I guess. Um, there's some ore. Hello there. Yes, please stop See talking. See you soon. You sound horrible. Um, cool. So we managed to actually get... A bunch of guys we have i need a woman i need <laughs> i need a woman i need my wife uh it's too bad this isn't multiplayer i think my wife would absolutely love this game uh so this is our crafts woman she works at the workshop which it occurs to me we haven't actually gone into the uh not that the production workshop we haven't set priorities so we want to make sure that there's always there's a crap ton of stuff what she can't craft any tools she is supposed to be in the i'm an idiot remove her from that go here go to her put no no her Go here and put her in the smithy as a blacksmith because then we can go in here to the smithy where she can maintain tools. So we'll want a wooden hoe. Let's make it so that she crafts one of those a day and one of these a day and one of these a day. Actually, let's not do wooden anything if we have stone. One of these a day. One of those. Oh. So these are much more work. Okay. Well, let's get these down to 10%. However, that crafts half of one a day. And we'll scroll down. I don't need her to craft anything else right now. Yeah, we'll just focus on that stuff. And we'll do... Uh, is there a stone shovel? No, there's not. So we'll do 10% on a wooden hammer, 10% on a wooden shovel. And that's only 60%. So let's put 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 20 extra out. Then 1, 2, whoops, 3, 4. Okay, so that seems to work for now. And this one can only have one worker in it right now. Ooh. We can assign an apprentice. What does that mean? Is that like a child that will learn the skill? Oh, now I'm all kinds of giddy. Uh, okay. So 
how much can I carry? What what's my carry weight at? I'm why what the hell am I carrying? Lots of crap. Roasted meat. I'm gonna eat my fill of the roasted meat and then sell everything else to this woman with the horrendous voice. Hey, whatever you need, I've got it. Yes, I'm sure you do. We're going to sell the feathers, we're going to sell the mead, the mead bottle, the two planks, the roast meat, the salted meat, the St. John's wort, both of the sticks, the stone. We're going to keep the ore, we're going to sell the water skin, and we'll keep that torch, because uh, our simple torch will die eventually, and that tor this torch actually is one of the nice ones. Um... Iron arrows. We can sell all four of those. We will keep the iron and bronze axes. And now... Oh, friend. Friend? See you yeah, soon. I don't like how you said that. Um, now we can go back to the mine. Where was it? There was... Was it around here? Somewhere? Is that it? Yeah, let's do that. So... We're going to go back out this way and then northeast. So we'll just, is this the, is this the path? No, it's not. This is this one. Um, yeah, so I personally, I've been enjoying this game a lot. And I hope you guys are enjoying watching it. Uh, like I said, it was either the beginning of this episode, beginning of the last episode. Let me know if you want this to continue to be the weekly series until we're finished with it. And I figure we'll finish the main storyline and go from there. Um, or let me know that you want this to be a more sporadic series where I don't play every week but i just do random updates intermittently um i can either play it all on screen so that you're seeing it it's just going super slow or i can play it off camera and just do an update every like 10 hours of playtime. or i uh, actually things don't move that slowly in this game anymore so i could do an update every two hours and it would still be a massive jump, so... Eh, just let me know. There's supposed to be a path that goes straight... Oh, this one. This one should take us right past the, um, the mine. So hopefully the bears are still gone. If they're not, I got my pokey pokey stick. And look, there's a Wysynth. Man, that's a really beneficial ability. I'm not hunting a single thing right now. Uh, just... Gonna go this way, yeah. Alright, anyway. I'll, uh, I'll be quiet so I can speed it up. Alright, so... This is where we're gonna call this episode today. We were able to... Let's see. We were able to get uh our two new hires uh set up with uh bernadetta now lives with i don't even remember tamir and bernadetta live together and we got our namir now lives with uh what was it al uh how, who does he live with roberta dobroa dobrawa namir lives with dobrawa uh, we are on to, we still need to craft a bow. I still think we need to do a little more with that. We are here at the mine and I am literally going to mine as much as I can. I'm going to make a few trips back and forth from the village to bring all of this ore back, but I'm going to clear out that entire mine before next episode so that we have all of that cart it back and forth however long that takes and yeah next episode we will focus on getting the uh bow made 
will probably finish the house and the storage and will continue on with Unigos story, I think. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things. Hit the bell icon to get notifications. Join me on Twitter and or Discord. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it shows support for the channel. And if you want to support me in a more direct manner, join me over on patreon.com forward slash control alt silent. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.